is a free pot I got at a thrift store. And I didn't know I was going to wait and use it for some outdoor cooking, which I haven't done in forever. But this is now my popcorn pot. I am loving it. I found some non-GMO popcorn. And I'm absolutely loving this. This is my third time now in the past two weeks. Week and a half, I've made popcorn. Well, it's trash day today. Uh-oh, they're busy. There's one person here. It's our big outing once a week. Take trash. Trash is a dollar a bag. Except your cardboard you can drop off free and they burn it. Right there. In that little makeshift fire pit. today. It's, windy. it's beautiful temperature right now. I like to open my doors and get some light in here. I wonder if you've ever seen the back of my trailer. I just have these ugly gray curtains. They're too short, but they help insulate. I have a bunch of stickers here. And some old ones. This was one of my kids God, many, many years ago. It was a magnet for the fridge. And some magnets from Jersey and Maryland. And the cat is crying. Gideon, you were just talking to me. He doesn't like the outside. You done hissing and growling at me? Hey. Hey. Hey guys, thought today we would um, brew up some kombucha. So I've got my mother hotel right here. And these were all grown. These are all scobies, a symbiotic colony of yeast, bacteria and yeast. Um, it creates like a vinegar taste. You brew this. I actually took the sediment from one of these bottles and I added, I made some strong black tea with some uh, organic vegan sugar and I put it in a bottle in here and uh, it grew a scoby. And each one of these is a new one. And the top one's the mother or something like that. But, um, yeah. So now you do a I think it's a second ferment. I haven't done this in so long. But I've got some blueberries here. I wanted to do strawberry. That's my favorite. But I just can't bring myself to spend like $30, I mean $3 on a thing of strawberries. So just put your fruit in the bottle. And then it goes in the fridge for a couple weeks. You can strain your fruit if you want to. I'm going to do blueberry and pineapple. I had one today. Um, I had this one today. Lemon and uh, lemon grove. It's ginger, lemon, and green tea. This was really good. I don't have the other bottle. But Synergy is my favorite. And then the one in the brown bottle with the anchor on it. Uh, Wellness. Something like that. And then Dr. Brew is my third favorite. Alright, I got my blueberries in here. I'm going to put some pineapple, drain it. Get in there. I used to brew this a long time ago, like 13, 14 years ago. And I had a whole laundry room. My dryer was just full of glass containers with scobies. I fed this the other day. Um, I just gave her some sweet water because I didn't have any black tea. So that's why she's not very dark. Because the water will evaporate. It smells like vinegar. 
and now you just pour it off. Ah, man, I need a funnel. Up, oh, just lost a scoby in there. Darn it. I lost another one. Hold on, let me get a wooden spoon. Get him, get him here. Sorry, guys. My cat was just trying to uh, stick his head out the door. You don't ever want to touch your your scobies or your liquid with metal. I don't think I'm going to have enough for two. Debbie has me black tea. Pour this one in there. Scoby's getting stuck. Let me see if I can get that out. Come on. Got all kinds of fruit stuck in it. But this is a this is your scoby. It's a baby. And this is good for wounds, um, burns. There's some hospitals that actually have a huge floor and these giant pools that they grow they grow scobies for wound care. Well, we don't have I don't have any more liquid. Well we have a short one here. I kinda like to mash my fruit. And then you just put this in the fridge. Oops. You wait about two weeks and you can strain your fruit and then you have um, kombucha. And a lot of people that are new to brewing kombucha, if you look inside, it's kind of kind of gray a little bit. Kind of like over on this side, up on top of that scoby. That's not mold. That's just the color of it. You'll know when it's mold. They're little round spores, and you'll just know. Sorry, moving the camera around. You'll just know when it's mold, but that's that's not mold. And you can also use these in your flowers, not in your garden. They're a great fertilizer. You can even eat them, dry them, just hydrate them. There's a lot of uses to a scoby. I found some tea. Uh, so I'm making a, a cup of strong tea, and I have some raw sugar in here, and then. Once this uh, brews, I'm going to pour it in here, let that dissolve, and let it cool down. And then pour it into my, my hotel and feed my scobies. And they'll just keep growing. I need to get, um, I do have a bigger jar down in the cabinet, but I think it has rice in it. So I'm going to empty that out, and uh, I'll get these in a bigger jar. And the, they grow to the size of your jar. It's really cool. I wish I knew about this when my kids were in school, because this would have made an awesome science project. Hey guys, so it's my birthday today. I am 64 years young. I am making eggplant parmesan sandwiches, courtesy of my daughter Daisy. They make this all the time. I didn't have any regular plant milk, so I'm using some canned coconut milk and some panko breadcrumbs. Oh, I forgot to season them. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm back. I'm just gonna. Get them wet in some, bread, some panko breadcrumbs. I mean, some milk and then panko. I have a tray of my um, pan over here. I love Italian food. Oh, I also have um, Classico pizza sauce. I like the pizza sauce because it's in the small little jar that's reusable. Because if I buy spaghetti sauce, 
I end up throwing half of it away. And this one's vegan, the classico traditional. This is a vegan meal. I'll be using um, Biolife. Oh, it's used to have smoked Gouda. I don't have any mozzarella. Gallup has um, a Walmart, Safeway, Albertsons, and two other grocery stores. They have some vegan products. I mean, I can't complain, but I'm used to like natural grocers or sprouts. So now I just get what, um, what they have. One more here. On now. I'm going to bring my toaster oven over to the garage because I can't plug it in here. There's not enough juice to it. All right, let me clean up. And this is what we got going over here. I'm going to get them in the oven and then walk the microwave. I'm in my toaster oven over to the garage. There we go. Seconds. What seconds are? I don't even know. I think that's minutes. All right. Let's start. Okay, I got them all toasted up. Put some sauce on them now and some cheese. What am I doing here? Hold on. Hold on, I got some other eggplant to go in. We'll take that off the broil. Stop, bake, start. Oh. Get over there. Oh my god, it's hot. There we go. Eggplant parm sandwich. See you. Kind of burnt these around the edges with the broiler on. It'll be alright.